Right, boys, we've got another absolutely amazing guest so uh, excited. on the pod today. I'm buzzing for this. Can't wait. Shall we see what it's going to be? Yes, Shall we yes, do the big yes, reveal? Yes. Big Go reveal. For, right, Go okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh, it's my hero, YouTube Hello, legend, Joe. Max Hello, Smith. Joe. Here he is. Oh, very good friend of ours, Cam. I know this might be the first time you've the first time you've met. Yeah, Max I think, Smith. I think we've, we've kind of met in passing and kind of give a few sort of you know nods. Yeah, like to each a, other. a pleasant nod. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, no, actually, good. There's no yeah. aggro then. Oh, no, but, definitely not. No, no, no. Uh, thank you. More aggro between me and you, Joe. To be fair, oh, really? I should be more shocked, but this just. This exact situation happens in my dreams at least four times a week. <laughs> What's the biggest screen you've ever been on? <laughs> uh, up till now, probably uh, ooh, probably like a 70-inch oh, nice. um, TV. You were outside uh, Piccadilly on an advert. That's a big screen. Did you hear about that? Oh, yeah, I, I was, know. yeah. Uh, well. The Stephen Tries podcast, because uh, uh, Max is a member of the Stephen Tries podcast. They got a billboard. At the Piccadilly oh, Gardens. So this is this is small fry for you then, isn't yeah. it, mate? This is yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, just just. I think the there's I think there's more people watching this though than uh, than that one apparently. Do you know what they paid for it? Um, it was a funny story. The the guy paid for it as Stephen's birthday present, Chris right. MD, and um, it was the day he got a billboard. The day the Piccadilly tram stop was broken out of action, so there was hardly <laughs> any footfall. It was raining constantly. That was the customer. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely got a discount on it though, didn't he? Because they knew it was going to be closed. I bet you. If he even one person saw Max on that billboard, then that's one more person that saw me on it because I wasn't even yeah, on the poster. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. If we had a poster for this podcast, you'll definitely get on it. Yeah. Just on the edge. Yeah, of course you will. <laughs> uh, right. So um, <laughs> we're, here, we're here to talk to talk films and movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before we get into it, Max, do you remember the first time you went to the cinema to see a film? What was it you went to see? So the the first memory I have, because obviously I had I don't know if it's the first one, but the first memory I have is uh, seeing The Phantom Menace. Oh, good film. Good start to your film career then, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was me. It was my father. That's uh, it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, great reference. I, I was, I was sandwiched between my father and my uncle. Um, uncle which, Obi-Wan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it, uh, is it Uncle Lars who's burning in the uh, Oh, in, in Lars. New Hope? Yeah, and I'm Peru. Yeah, I have yeah, really? yeah, Star Wars chat. Do you know what I say about them ones? Is do you know I only knew uh, or only heard about that trilogy being shite when I was older? Because yeah. when I was a kid, I thought it was the best thing ever. Yeah, and then you, you got a, yeah, yeah, I thought it was, and then you'd go, oh no, I hated it really. Yeah, yeah. pretend it was awful. Did you think it was good as what? a kid, Max? Oh yeah, as a kid, as a kid, it's amazing. I, I think when you when you see the pictures of people queuing up back in the day. It's like proper nerd, you know, nineties nerds, you know, mm. sort of basement dwelling nerds. Uh, probably, probably the fan base for this podcast. <laughs> no, um, no, you know, people, people that I've, <laughs> you know, I, I, I would, I would have been one of those people. I'm the king um, of those people. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I had, um, no. you know, Attack of the Clones on DVD. Yeah, where it was like scratched. So the oh. bit where C three PO is going through the factory. I thought for about six years that was the ending of the film. No. And it was just like a cliffhanger where Anthony Daniels camply goes like, oh my. <laughs> I just want to establish, Max, you are a big film fan. You love the cinema. Yeah. I know he's holder of one of those cards where you can just go in as many times as you want. Oh, like a platinum I, card. Yeah. Like a, have you ever done that? Uh, or what's been your biggest cinema out in, Max? Like how many cinemas, uh, how many films have you seen uh, in a day? Oh God. I, th- I think I went to see about five films in a day once. Um <sighs> That was that was basically get there in the morning and then leave there at night. What five um, films? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you remember? Oh. oh, God, there was the so this was in the print works. This is when Odeon yeah, yeah. was at the print works, and they because they had about thirty screens, they would show stuff that you wouldn't normally see. So they had the Ghost in the Shell anime that was on. Um, oh, Die hero. Hard. Die Hard. Oh, <laughs> Die Hard was on. You know, it was just it was just a load of old films that uh, they were just re-showing. It was great. I bet they were Crum- fuming going, he's, yeah, he's yeah. abusing that platinum card, aren't he? Like, you know, yeah. like, come on. You yeah. can't sleep in here, Mr. Smith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not you pay your rent. I mean, what, uh, you should get some showers in the toilets. You ever yeah. thought about that, guys? <laughs> I was just uh, I was just sitting outside of Curry's watching the TV. Just, just... <laughs> I mean, this podcast is sort of, he's already sort of done it. Obviously, we want to get three films that will be your most iconic night in the cinema. Uh, 
He's kind of done, he's done it in a way, ain't he, Max? What, with these five in a, five in a day? <laughs> I mean, it's going to be quite I've, hard to top I've, already, I've gone past that. <laughs> <laughs> right, Max, let's let's talk about um, your first selection. So we want okay. to kind of know about a film that if you could get a chance to experience it for the first time all over again, what would it be? So imagine it's that movie that's made that big impact on you and you get to watch it again for the very first time. Yeah, like uh, Men in Black style, you forgot yeah, it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Will Smith's come to your yeah. door, he's gone, Pachoon, gone. I'm excited for this. And he's only taken one film from me. <laughs> <laughs> Take some more pain, please. Yeah. <laughs> Every the memory remains, but just that one movie. Yeah. Sat gone. in your living room watching it with a load of aliens around you <laughs> <laughs> that you're not supposed to know about, and he comes in. <laughs> not asked um, about that. I my my favourite film, uh, which I saw years ago. And I would love to just be able to rewatch it for the. Ah, uh, it's the room. The room. <laughs> okay, explain. I'm the room obsessed for us. with that film. It's basically it's uh, a guy in America who financed his own film. He wrote it, directed it. Tommy, he Wiseau. did everything for Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. He's he's an enigma um, on the world, and he's made this film, which he made in such earnest. You know, he had such high hopes for it. It's meant to be this great drama of our times. And it's one of the most funniest things I've ever seen in my life. So he's taking it seriously, but it's not. Uh, I've just got the yeah. IMDB page up here. Have you never seen it? The room? I, I, no, I tell Have you, you what, never it's heard going to be it? going one of the lists. It's going to go, I've heard oh, of it, I've God. heard of it, mm. I've heard of it. But it, I thought The Room was also a film about... That's just Room. Is that just room? That's, that's room. We that's awesome. the long-awaited sequel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, You're tearing me apart. <laughs> some IMDb scores here from the 2003 film: three point seven out of ten. Yeah, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, twenty-three percent. But listen, yep. it's your film. You're starting off with this. Are you sure? It's, it's, it's considered like the best worst film of all time. Have you never gone into a florist and done your entire shop in there just for the florist to turn round when you're leaving and go? Oh, hi, Max. I didn't realise it was you. You're my favourite customer. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> Is this a reference it's, from the room that I was yeah, 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 He's yeah, going to yeah, yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. Joe. I think we should stop this. <laughs> yeah. Go on. What happens in the it's, florist bit? It's, well, so he's, basically, he's, he's hired the florist, but uh, behind the scenes, he's got the florist for like an hour. So he's got this scene and he needs to film it. Um, and he goes in and it's just it's rapid fire um, like dialogue one line off it's like, the dialogue Hi, hello other. Johnny I didn't oh, see you really? there yeah, yeah yeah it's like he says hello can I have some flowers and then like orders of flowers and then she goes after he says I'll have some roses she goes like yes you can have some flowers which would you like right. <laughs> he's just trying to get out as quick as he can and there's a there's a scene where his, his bum's like just pulsing for like five minutes a really, really yeah. a pulsing ball. And he wants to yeah. experience this the first yeah. time yeah. Or, or, this in the movie of or cinematic history. Max, do you not think the room is better on rewatch? <laughs> and you watch it like five times over and you know what's no, coming. No, it is. It is, but I just, do you know, I went to see it at the cinema. Uh, so there's a bit where, so he's, he's got like these photo frames in his house. Yeah. But he's not taking out the, the stock photo from it. So it's, there's just a picture of a spoon. <laughs> a spoon. <laughs> So whenever that picture, whenever that picture frame comes up in shot, people in the audience just love plastic spoons at the screen. Brilliant. And I would love to be there without any knowledge of what's going on. <laughs> 